created equal. If you play up and down a minor pentatonic over an A minor chord, you can land on any note and it sounds okay. However, if you were playing over an A7 chord and you want it to sound bluesy, these notes are utilized in a very specific way. Try this, blues tendency tones. For example, one, the root, to flat seven. Flat seven, two, one. Which one is resolved and which one is unresolved? Flat three, bent up to three. Sharp four or flat five, bent up to five. Flat five, release, bend, down to four. If you memorize in your mind's ear these resolutions, you are at a huge advantage. It's not just throwing it against the wall and hoping it sticks when you take a blues solo. Understand how the notes are gonna sound over the chord, how the notes are gonna sound over changing chords, how the notes will sound when you're resolved to one note. The chord changes and now that flavor is different because we've tonicized a new chord. Hello, this is a snippet from an upcoming guitar melody lesson. This is about improvising over blues with pentatonics as your access point. So if you're improvising and it doesn't really sound bluesy, but you know all of your pentatonic scales, this is, or well, the intention is, that this will be the ideal access point for you. There are free warm-ups and free exercises for this lesson on Gumroad. So if you want to check those out, go visit Gumroad. It's all free and keep an eye out for the new lesson. Have a good one.